And gentlemen, I did promise that by 11 p.m. East African time we shall be having a final. It is 15 minutes past 11 and we are having a final in which one game has been played in between Rashid Wagawa, the guy nicknamed Dog City, and Hazard Lokuma, the guy nicknamed The Truth. They are racing to seven for the victory, for the money, for the pride, for the chance to be called the champion of the monthly pool competition here at Amigos Pool Arena in Kansanga in Kampala. Once again, Rashid Wagaba one, Hazard Lokuma nil, race to seven. Thank you. 
As he is on the verge of equalizing, be reminded that Hazard, especially the time that Caesar has not been in the country, last three weeks, has been without a shade of a doubt the best player in the country. He's still among the very best, whether or not, whoever it may be, is around or not. But he has played four tournaments. Actually, it was three tournaments that was organ that were organized in the spell of three weeks. He did win two of them. A weekly competition at Kamocha. He did beat Ivan Kanyeste in the final. Then the 64-man competition, the Pentagon Open Championship that was organized in Rochelle in Western Uganda. He won that one. Out of 64 players, he was number one after taking down Habib Sebaguzi in the final. It is the fourth tournament in which he is reaching the final in three of them top form from hazard lokoma he came close to losing out by the way in the semi-final the decider it was with which he did take down here nikazibu 50,000 notes in uganda shillings that has been handed to him after that appearance by one of his fans the equivalent of 15 us dollars a token of appreciation from the fan a very big component of Ugandan full fans appreciating their favorite players by tipping them with some good money. There was a money match, they were the first money match ever between the Caesar and Aiden. It was organized at Sikos and Gigos early last year. The one that was won by Aiden 21-20 in the decider in that match Caesar did receive more tips than the two thousand dollars which he lost on the table so tips can sometimes be so 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 comforting yeah? anyway between 150 to 200 people are at the venue watching this match and a few more hundreds watching online beautiful thing in the next 30 minutes maybe 40 minutes we shall surely be done because it is a race as short as seven both can be attack minded players at speed if they so choose hazard one dog city one these two guys did have a money match early this year at dice lounge hazard home ground 16 12 hazard one it was 12 12 at one point before hazard one the last four games in succession you know me show me you seem to be what someone seem to be asking about hazard's dress code it's his dress code of choice huh? Not that he played some football earlier today or something, it's the dress code of his choice. Two young men who normally entertain on the table. They win, but not just winning, they do entertain. Their respective managers, I know, must be watching either now live, or they will be watching this later, maybe in the night, maybe tomorrow morning. Dice family, as they are called, Hazard management team is boss Mark Mozongu, the chairman of the Dice family, and director of the Dice Lounge. Eddie Saint Amu, among his other players, the Wild for Dog City, the Advanced Talent Agency, Steven Saint Tongo. Akim Chikbundu. Three players under their management. Besides Dog City, who was the first player they did sign, by the way, sometime last year. The other being Lawrence Sengonge and their latest acquisition, the biggest of them all, Caesar Chandiga. And since joining the team, Dog City has enjoyed the benefits of participating in competitions in Kenya and Zambia and Zimbabwe and as far as China. He, together with Caesar, will become the first player of Uganda ever to participate in the Marrakesh version of Ultimate Pool that is being hosted in Africa this year. 
in October. Hazard has also been fully facilitated by the DICE family for competitions in Kenya, in Zambia, in Zimbabwe, in South Africa. He's also one guy maybe who is playing the biggest number of money matches, at least this year. He has had the money matches against Dock City. He won against Kasozi. He won against Caesar. He started with plus six for the first time. He won against Caesar. He started with plus six for the second time. Hazard won against Caesar in a full race. Hazard lost five money matches this year. Winning four, losing one. Very good return. But Dog City may not be ready and willing to listen to any of that as he takes the lead again. Rashid Wagaba 2, Hazard Lokoma 1. And welcome back from those two semi-finals. 25 minutes is the, act, is the exact time Dog City needed to take down Caesar. 6 nil. what a performance that one was. I can see in the comment section some of you are not contented. You seem to think that because they belong to the same management team, maybe it was something of a fixed thing. Never, never, never. Actually, Caesar did have nothing to do with the Dog City. When the guy was just spotting everything. When Dog City comes good, he is really, really, really good. And in the last two years, that is the... I think it is the eighth time. Eighth time he is taking down Caesar. So think about that if you think that... And I think it would even be disrespectful to Caesar to think that he can give out a game just like that. He lost to a player who was a better player on the day. Also, the fact that you still have to readjust to the small table if you've been playing on the big table for three weeks. Yes, there is no, there's no shortcut. When you make your body accustomed to the big table, you have to readjust to the small one. That's why very, very, very few players do shine in all of those disciplines. You have to select one or the other. Big table players, most of the time, are big table players. Small table players are most of the time small table players. You don't see the Chinese playing on the small table. They simply play on the big table. Hey ball, nine ball, ten ball, snooker, and things like that. Dog City is really queuing well today. Seven comps he did win last year. This year, if I'm not mistaken, he has won two. One in Kamwacha, another, the Easter Cup that was organized at Portit in Kampala. He's trying to make it three. And his return as compared to last year has not been that good. But when this guy is good, myself, I don't play against him. I start, I start to fear for his opponents. When he is good, he's real good. But Hazard will be waiting and hoping for any opportunity. Because he's more consistent than Dog City, especially in finals like this one. It's about to become 3-1. Yes, it is Rashid Wagaba 3, 
Hazan ya koma 1 Welcome to the stream, Ben Jim Matongo. You say you love seeing Hazard losing. I don't know why. You say you every time you watch the car competition and you are happy when you watch him cry. His tears were a blessing in this guys. I want to tell you that when he did cry after losing out to Caesar in the car competition, the consolation that was given to him by his boss, the chairman of the this family, Mark Mozungu, he bought him a car himself. He thought his player was crying for the car. He said you can have the car. So Hazard is parking his car outside the venue. Maybe because of those tears. So I want to think that the tears were a blessing in this guys. I don't think he will ever regret crying. He got the car just as Caesar got the car. Although the result of the match was in Caesar's favor. Hazard gets himself relatively good white as long as he can put any of the two balls that he can. He will want to start with the one to the corner pocket top right, white ball bouncing off the cushion into space, just like that with a very good spin right spin on the white balls and Dog City knows that this game, this frame he is clearly losing it in the space of the last mix Hazard is the champion of two weekly comp, a weekly comp and a 64 man competition he has played Three tournaments has won two. This is the fourth tournament. He's trying to win the third out of four, which would be a very good return if he did. And he pulls on back hazard two, Dog City three. Once again, the race to seven. Final. <laughs> another final I've lost count of how many events I've streamed for the last four years maybe five years since 2020 very early in the year when I started this thing purposely 
as a passion, as a duty, and also uh, the vision to try and not let this game that we all love suffer from the effects of the then COVID lockdown. It has now become a norm. I want to thank all of you in your thousands that have always kept on watching these streams, battles, money matches. Inspiration I drew from William Soko, the belated birthday guy. I don't know if he's watching. Guy loves Caesar so much. The fact that Caesar is not in this final, maybe he's sleeping. Tomorrow, I will be commentating on the Uganda Pro League with the NBS Sports Television. Hazard, the truth is trying to act like he is indeed the truth and the truth equalizes against the dog city 3-3 three, three. rest to seven and now it is pretty much a rest to four He's back hazard in the game. And I also want to think that he is back to his best. There is a time, especially earlier this year, where he was clearly the best player in the country. I remember that time. He was winning comp after comp after comp and the money match after money match after money match. He also did take down Caesar twice in two money matches. Yes, he was head started with plus six in the rest to 21 twice. He did win them with victories that could still have stood even if you were not to factor in the six games with which he was head started. Of course, things became different when he decided to play a full race with the Scorpion. But when he did have that match, Hazard was kind of off form. I want to think that now he's back to his best. The display that he's putting up today, this, the display that he did put up in Russia, the display that he did put up in Kamocha. He's trying to win three tournaments out of four he has participated in. In a space of only one month, by the way. Guys are having good business playing pool. And this is very good, talented guys are not supposed to be broke. Eh? Hazard does take some time to communicate to the fans. I'm not so sure he was all that serious because he knows that he had the black 
on his own trying to have mind games with them those who are for him and those who are not I'm not so sure what he's doing is helpful to him those who like him like him with his antics those who don't like him don't like him especially for such antics on and off the table sometimes it is part of the game a mind game pull is someone can pull off a prank like that noting or having it in mind that his opponent will not be liking it eh? make the component a little bit discomfortable for the more games coming up yes 4-3 hazard now leads against dog city in a race to seven we are halfway there donald chikumba you're calling me your commentator i'm humbled how good is this break in your opinion in my opinion not so good it's an open table it's a yellow ball potted that again is one of those that that, that you will call a little bit ugly not open at all nonetheless dog city as we all know will be trying his best playing red to put yellow across the table playing yellows he wanted to use that shot to open up the yellow game almost entirely he ends up failing to close the table because no yellow ball is potted in the same shot advantage hazard who is stealing i will say the yellow game of dog city kaburi atone you're asking about dog city's ranking position in ugandan pool by the way ranking position is good and it's also important for the players profiles but the ranking positions may not necessarily reflect the players abilities for instance for ugandan pool ranking the available ranking is the one that is done by the pool association of uganda and the organizing body for the official events but the official events are few and the far between and whoever performs well in those events that could be three or four or five in there it does not necessarily reflect who is exactly the best player so dog city is way out of the top 15 is somewhere between 15th and 20th by the procession of uganda but you and i know that there exists no 15 players who are better than him so ranking is just a reflection of who performed well in the tournaments of the pool association of uganda for instance last year ibrahim kayanja was ranked first after accumulating the highest number of points in the pool association of uganda's rankings players are having a discussion on whether or not the ball is frozen yes it was frozen hazard has played legally otherwise by the procession of uganda caesar is ranked first bonny kamansu second joseph kasozi third kenneth odong fourth yes lawrence sengonge dangote fifth and hazard six so you can get what i'm meaning eh? Trije John the seventh in that order and ranking positions by the current ranking format are held for a period of one year but just last year there was a time when Ibrahim Kayanja the real machine ranked first was head started with Caesar who at the time was ranked 20th because he wasn't even available to fully participate in the tournament of the procession of Uganda the previous year he was head started with the plus seven and was beaten in a race to 21 and i'm not just disrespecting the rankings but i'm just trying to advise that while they are important they do not exactly reflect the abilities of those players big backspin by hazard here the intention of the backspin was to use the white ball to open up the black it didn't come off that much i think he will have another opportunity to play a shot which has the same effect this time top spin white ball following 
the yellow, but it's the direction of moving towards the black ball. You can see he's it's clearly what he is rooting to do. He will have another opportunity. Pot yellow, open up the black ball to the corner pocket. Will he open it up? He opens, but the opening is not sufficient. I'm not so sure why he went a little bit sophisticated. I think he should have gone for power. Finds himself out of the frying pan, now into the fire. Napoleon Javis. I'm Mati Matek. Okay. Thank you for watching. Princess Bushra supporting. The Dog City, you are the player you are supporting. Did go 3-1 up and has lost three games in succession. Three shots that have been played by Hazard to achieve one objective, open up the black ball. Has not paid up. He's playing off the cushion to find his yellow, which he does. Doesn't pot, nor does he set the same yellow advantage. Dog City. down a little bit dog city but not yet out there is that little bit full shot which is a lead it's kind of possible maybe put one of the reds off another red maybe use the white ball to play the black off the other red put one red and open up the game he got it entirely wrong the reason he got the shot wrong is that he wanted to put his red off the second red which was just in front of the black ball it wasn't as easy as it seemed he finds himself off target hazard has another chance to have a go at the game still the black ball is not as good as hazard would have loved and as he aims as he stands as he inspects the table he is having that black ball in mind and you would think that he is playing the white ball to have it at a position where he will be 
with the possibility of opening up the black ball which is exactly what he's doing will he open no he doesn't get himself snookered i think he simply aimed at having the white ball in space to play black ball in a bank in a double shot but after that error you will imagine that this frame he is most probably losing he wants to play off the cushion try and find the black ball he found it went for power found the black ball didn't put it and neither did he come close any close to making the pot he will try to make amends dog city yes he won a weekly comp at the Kamocha pool center just around a month ago but apart from that weekly comp the other thing he has in terms of victory this year in terms of tournaments is that easter cup only two comps this year out of so many in which he is participated in by his high standards that is not a very poor that's not a very good return he has played to snooker hazard hazard seems the way he's fisting the air seems to be sure that he will find the angle seems to be contented that there is a way out of this situation here and as if he wants to by his body language by his test as if he wants to come off the cushion play a little shot touch the black using the white ball and then snook a dog city if he did it that would be power balance that would be out of this world and of course guidance and direction of the white ball by his sense it is what he's trying to do yes it is what he's trying to do off the cushion find the black and snooker he finds the black directly doesn't snooker instead he fouls sorry he came close to fouling he didn't foul one of those shots when fouling and not fouling are not all that different because you know that your opponent is winning anyway dog city will most likely play backspin ensuring that the white ball doesn't get intercepted by the black in its movement backwards it is the aim which he does off the cushion beautiful yes rashid wagaba four has at the comma four rest to seven <laughs>
It is one of those games where you may be an offensive player when you may be as good as Dog City, but still I don't know how far you can go with this one. The six red balls game. Actually, they've been seven. Uh, the angle he has given himself, Dog City, to put the red ball to the corner pocket bottom right gives him a natural opening. Instead, it goes for the center pocket red. Still same intention to put and open up the red game. He pots. The red game is not as beautifully opened up as he would have fancied. Seems to be going for safety now. One of those times when you have plan B when plan A fails. Successful safety. Hazard will most likely be finding the black. He's so good at finding the balls off the cushions. By the way, will he put all? Oh, oops, that one would have been something. That one will could easily have been something of a brilliant shot. It just didn't come to pass. Hazard just moves around the playing area with a little bit of swag. Dog City is kind of laughing at himself at what could have been had that black gone in. He will really be wanting to win this match, Dog City. It will be a very beautiful consolation to defeat in that money match against Joseph Kasozi yesterday night. Yes. Snookers again. Hazard can see just a little bit of the black ball. Dog City will have to be wary of that. It changes the complexion of the rules and the legalities. Yes, there is a confirmation between the players that Hazard can indeed see part of the black ball. But his stance as fans cheer him up is as if he wants to put the black ball. <laughs> He's not short on skill, especially coming from the angle. It is one of his biggest strengths and this is one area of the game where I think he could easily be the best player in the country coming off one, two, three angles finding his knockout balls he is so good at that from here is how will he go? misses only, only only just advantage dog city and as we are close to 600 of you 
watching the game close to midnight i do believe that you are getting entertained personally i am entertained but why not of course when it's hazard and dog city even if it were not a final two of the prodigal sons of african pole playing to entertain trying to win in a rest of seven which is now a rest of three total number of games left including this one is five each one of them needs three dog city seems to be home and dry with the fifth Lots of fans who are trying to push Dog City through here by trying to mimic the words that I normally say during the live streaming. Sounds funny. Up against the penultimate red Dog City. Surely he will be sinking this one in. Yes, he does. Dog City 5, Hazard 4. Four games left to play. Of the four, Dog City needs two, and Hazard needs three. Tanaka Ngarakane, thank you for watching. You're asking if that is Caesar seated there. No, from the camera angle, you cannot see Caesar. Arnold Mlambo, thank you for watching. Princess Bushira, all is watching. You are supporting Dog City, understandably so. Skizo, one time, you're watching from Botswana. There, you have your Botswana flag. This is no fire base supporting Dog City. Wisdom Pondo, by the name Wisdom, I know that you are Zim. Mash Islam Jr. You think that Hazard will win this one and then the haters will show. Okay. Let us wait. I'm seeing someone is watching from A. Swatini. By the way, the His Royal Majesty King Swati of A. Swatini is here. He's in the country of Uganda. With one of the first ladies and the city is littered with the national flags of both the A. Swatini and Uganda side by side. I think it's a nice gesture to say that we are just united, not just in Pole, but even in leadership staff. Ben Jematongo, supporting Dog City from Zambia. Danford, Sikaze, watching from Eswatini. Okay. Ashton, Nyakavanu, supporting Hazard. Okay. Robson, Mharire. You think Dog City will win this one and you are watching from Zimbabwe? Robson, thank you for watching. Kentan MPC watching from South Africa, the Rainbow Nation. You must be supporting Hazard if you are watching from South Africa. He was there for the better part of one year. Playing semi-professional pool with some of the top players there. I do remember him. There was no live stream those days. He did lose a match against Wetsi Morake the best player on the continent at the time. Hazard will need big spin on the white ball moving across the table just like that one. He makes it look even more beautiful than my earlier imagination. He'll be sinking the black ball to the corner pocket stop left of your screen. Surely he can't miss this one. Oops. At a time when it's almost a criminal offense to miss a ball, Hazard misses the most important of the balls on the green bed, the black ball. You would think that he still has it in himself to have ball position to win this frame. Nonetheless, it is not very obvious. Dog City will most likely be playing one safety shot, hoping to get two shots which hopefully for him, from a Dog City perspective, which he can use. 
to win the frame. This guy Hazard is so strong in terms of playing off the cushion, finding one or two or three cushions, then getting the angle. He wants to use one, two, three cushions to find the black one, two, three. There is the white. There we go. There we go. There we go. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Round of applause from the fans. To the guy that is making them the truth at one time. The drink water at one time. The pub wire producing what is more or less the best shot of the tournament so far. What a beauty of a shot, most especially for the fact that it was an equalizer. Most especially, it is in the final and it is on the black hazard five, dog city five, rest to seven. Sometimes I'm at these venues and then I become so tired sometimes when there is another program for the following day. But when I see a shot like that one, just a shot, I, there's a way I feel energized when I watch good pool. And I learn that even you are forfeiting part of your sleep and you watch this action when you watch shots as good as that one, the game winning shot of Hazard, it really feels energizing. Hazard is still receiving tips from the fans for just one shot. The young man you've just seen crossing into the arena was just bringing some money from well wishers of the truth. Five, five, rest to seven, and now it is rest to two. Enjoy game eleven. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Just one frame dog city is demonstrating shooting skills, demonstrating composure, demonstrating white ball movement, demonstrating temperament, demonstrating ability to come back, to give himself a chance to win this match. You want to think that this frame is very, very, very crucial. And there we are. The rest is the formality. Dog City 6 Hazard 5 There are 2 games left In the whole tournament For Hazard to change the complexion of the match Of the tournament To deny Dog City the victory He must win them both
this tournament by making this clearance and even the last clearance it will be two hackers of frames one by the same guy at the right stage of the tournament against the right opponent at the only time that it matters the guy that is nicknamed dog city is having two red support he has one which is not so difficult to report him to the center pocket on the left that has to negotiate the movement of the white ball towards the top end of the table then they come back towards around the mid of the table but it's not obvious that we'll have a good white ball for the last red if he puts which is also an if Crucial time this one. He either perfects this shot or most likely we get a decider. Because if he doesn't perfect this shot, if he doesn't win this frame, there are six yellows for hazard, which he can put sometimes even with his eyes closed. And the dog city knows that. That's why he knows that there is no room for error, no room to blink, no room to blunder. He must win this game. In which case winning them would win him the tournament in its entirety can't believe that a guy who is queuing this well is the same guy that was taken down so convincingly in a money match yesterday nonetheless here we go the interception of the white ball by hazard yellow is not exactly what dog city wanted but it's not something that he could entirely control he had no control of that effect he has an opportunity to play the red ball the only red ball on the table slow 
try to put it to the corner pocket bottom left of your screen in a slow shot which ball will probably have a natural movement rubbing itself off one of hazard yellows to see the black oak oh, actually he's going for the center pocket in a sharp cut more difficult nonetheless possible center pocket miss advantage hazard i think we are having a decider and what a final we are having unfolding right in front of our eyes These two guys have clearly been the best players in the tournament without a shed of a doubt. We couldn't have had a better final and ladies and gentlemen in the final we have a decider. Sometimes I just love it when I keep quiet when the 
situation becomes so critical i just want to observe i just want you to observe it unfold in real time without sometimes even disturbing you with commentary dog city came so close to winning, the, to winning this tournament but he was so far all that matters is now this shot as hazard up against the black if he does it it will be the last shot of the tournament for him to win a third tournament out of four to be officially the best on form player in the country there we go he misses dog city's fans celebrate as if their player has instead deported the black ball dog city doesn't believe his luck i did not think he was having another chance in the tournament i don't think hazard thought that he was missing this black i don't think that over 700 of you who are watching online the tournament that started on saturday morning saturday afternoon and yet it is already sunday evening well, that he would have another chance to play dog city hazard is playing off the cushion and there we are finds the black at least he doesn't foul but still it is big big advantage dog city because the reds are now clearly spaced dog city has a chance to play snooker i think for one last time in the match and you want to think that whether hazards finds the black or not after this snooker dog city will be making a clearance unless hazards finds a way to put this black ball close to unthinkable his biggest strength the one aspect of his game hazard where i think he's the best in the country is finding snooker balls off the angles he is so good at that and there's a way he swags around the table when he's around to play about to play straight like that <laughs> it is the reason why his fans love him those antics it is the reason why those don't who don't love him actually don't like him a little bit like cristiano ronaldo when he's about to take a free kick is what hazard does when he's about to play somewhat a difficult shot here we go he's playing off the left cushion by his stance by his body language if he plays off this cushion it will be have to be a big top right spin on the white ball which is exactly what he's doing it's left to see whether he can find the black if he does it's left to see whether he can put he finds the black but doesn't put he just does a little bit of disorganization to dog city's yellow but dog city's red but i don't think it will be enough for hazard this looks like a clearance being made by dog city for the victory for the win for the chance to be called amigos monthly competition champion with every ball that he puts he gets closer the fans are celebrating each and every move of his that is making dog city actually known as rashid wagaba for himself as a player for his teammates in the advanced talent agency for his management team where is the white going foul the city is mourning knowing that he has blown away the chance he has blown away the chance he is inconsolable he concedes the game hazard win very strange circumstances have led to very strange endings to the match very rare very bizarre it's an emotional game yes even big stars have emotions what looks like what looks like a done and dusted deal why you thought that dog city was home and dry he was not home enough he has lost the final of the monthly comp that has been organized here at amigos in kampala
by a decider to hazard. Ladies and gentlemen, the final scores, Lokoma Hazard 7, Rashid Wagaba 6. I thank you for keeping me company from 2 p.m. East African time when I did start today's live streams. It is past midnight. It's already Sunday morning. Still, you are online. Thank you for the time you accorded to these players, to the game, to myself, to make me feel relevant. I do wish you a very wonderful, good, ev wonderful evening or morning. Will I say, may the Almighty God bless you.